No, 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 no. I guess this is the police station. Shukran. I just made a stop here in Weto, Ethiopia for some tea and for some water and I made new friends. Motovision. Yeah, Motovision. Yeah. Motovision. <laughs> <laughs> Motovision. his motorcycle too. Motovision. Yeah, Motovision. Motovision. Oh, there it is. This is Motovision. Yes, yes. yes. I gave almost everybody here Motovision stickers and decals and they're pretty happy. Motovision. Turkana Desert of northern Kenya and southern Ethiopia. And just yesterday, I made my way up here to Arbaminj, which is in the central part of the country. And as you can see, it's very green and there's water. And the temperatures are moderate. I have never been so happy to be out of the desert. This lake is a volcanic lake that's part of the Rift Valley system. And what's important to know is that most valleys are created by erosion. This valley was created by an earthquake. The tectonic plate in Africa separated and created this huge valley that runs from northern Ethiopia all the way down to Mozambique for a total of 6,000 kilometers. It's one of only two places on Earth like it. So here I am on Lake Chamo on a safari. And our goal is to find the Nile crocodile, Africa's cold-blooded killer. Oh my God, that's huge. These things are huge. They're the Arnold Schwarzeneggers of crocodiles. Look at this thing. Oh. I don't want to fall here. Look at this. 
unbelievable. I've never been this close to a crocodile in my life. Look at how huge they are. Yeah, yeah three of them. And there's a few of them that uh, took off. Four of them. Four of them. You see one, two, three. Holds 24 liters. Okay, it's more than from my car, yeah? It is my car is only 22 or 21. His car is only 22 liters, and my tank is 24. It's more than the car. So, black market gas is double of what it ordinarily is at the pump. It's about 35 burr at the pump, which is about 60 cents per liter. Well, I just paid a dollar 20 equivalent, about 60 burr per liter. In this part of the country, because of the political upheavals, they just are not getting petrol. So I kind of got to buy it where I got to buy it. Yeah, my friend Adonis, he's just pouring the gas in. He's not the black market guy. Now, see if the GPS gets orientated, it does, and let's head out of here. Wow, it's a beautiful day, it's 65 degrees. I'm so happy. This is the town of Owasa. This is the coffee growing region of Ethiopia. Coffee was discovered here, so they claim. A couple of things worth noting. There's a beautiful hot springs close by here, a natural hot springs that heats water up to 85 centigrade boiling. And of course, they cool it down and provide pools, relaxing, therapeutic hot spring pools for paying customers like me. Now, Let's just take a look at the video yesterday of my visit to this hot springs. It's called Juan Doganet Hot Springs. Yeah. So we have to pay? Yeah. I'm the only tourist here. And it's just full of locals, so yeah, check it out, yeah. yeah. Check it out, yeah. yeah, yeah. All the locals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, it was so relaxing. I, I really needed it. It kind of got me grounded. Even though I was only there for like an hour, it just did me wonders. Now, sadly, I was not able to see the coffee production because harvest is over. I was a little disappointed. I wanted to see the coffee production in full tilt, but that was not to be. I was just a little late getting here. But this is a coffee growing region. This is where coffee was discovered. Yeah, I can show you some video of that coffee ceremony that they do. It's regular. It's not like, you know, only happens once in a while. It's everywhere here. I just got to tell you, they take coffee to a ridiculously new level. They don't just roast it and serve it to you. They have a ceremony that involves incense. The, the beautiful roasting expert and barista. So now let's take a look at this fascinating tradition called the ceremony of coffee and how it all works.
This area is home of the Rastafarians. It is a small sect, a religion, uh, that was founded about 100 years ago by an Ethiopian, but has primarily been practiced in Jamaica. So let's cut away to that uh, experience. On this nondescript street in the town of Shashamini is the world headquarters or the Rasa religion. And you would hardly even take notice if you were driving by, but behind this red door is the history. So this was a land grant by the king of Ethiopia in 1955. The Naya Bingi Temple, and as you see here, Yes. This was started in the highland of Jamaica in 1969. In Jamaica, before the day when Rastafari went to Jamaica, the first raptures was the Naya Bingi. The Naya Bingi. Yeah, that accepted Ayla Selassie, who was chanting the drum and everything, you see me? Rastamans is yeah. black people, you know? Yes, sir. So it's first nature is from Ethiopia. Yeah. But we was taken away yeah. from Africa, from Ethiopia. Yeah to the Caribbean yeah. and was selling in the Caribbean. I see, so it was exported. Yeah, so that is where now the main black people started this great work. So right, like, yeah. I'm a white guy, right? Naturally. So can I ever be a Rastafarian? You know about Noah? Yeah. Noah, our father. So three children. He got three children. Yes. And one was Ham. Yeah. Shem and Japheth. Yes. Ham is the black one. Yes. Shem is the brown one. And Japheth is the white brother. Yeah. So we are one brother's children, oh, brother, right. who was spread in yeah. this world. It's not about the color, brother. I do. Because if you cut your blood, your hand is the same, the same blood, blood. Red. Yeah. You see me, brother? Oh, yeah. So it's not about color and this. Okay. It's about the faith in your heart, Bajin. Ah, I see. Of Mali. Yes, of course. But you know his real name? Robert Neston Mali. That's his real name, you know? Yeah. And this, as you see here, is King Minilik. King Minilik, who's yeah, he? The second Minilik was the king of Ethiopia. King of Ethiopia? Yeah, before Haile Selassie and the kings before Rastafari I, I, as well. I see. And as you see, this is Rastafari himself. Oh yeah, What's his, why is he standing on a bomb? Haile Selassie, as you see him, yeah. he's a powerful king. When yeah, oh, yeah. he throw the bombs, that's how we know Rastafari is oh. the almighty. He's a powerful god. Yeah, because you've rejected colonialism. Yeah, yeah. yeah. even a fly would yeah. pitch on this bomb. Yeah. It would, it would explode, explode it, but Rastafari stamped on it. When they fling it, yeah. he's a football player, so he controlled, yeah. controlled the bomb. We see Ayla Silasa as our God and King, Christ in his country. So like an uh, incarnation? Yeah. The now king. on the 23rd of July, yes. we keep his birthday. I see. And on the 2nd of November, we keep his coronation. He was one of our prophet yeah. who was born in Jamaica from a slave. From a slave? Yeah. And when the black peoples used to get shipped out of Africa when they sold them, yeah. Marcos Masayer Garvey was yeah. the one who used to send back the black peoples back to Africa with the ship. Ten million people already he Man. sent by the ship. Wow. But his own, our own black people sold them out for rice and peas.
It's just so good to have you with me here. It's been quite the journey. And that journey continues. You hold on so tight. Open up your eyes. This is our time. Can't let it pass us by. to see. so you can get a heart for the world's poorest of the poor. Hello, Mama. I'm sinking in some sand. How are you, Mama? Hello, my friend. Oh, thank you. These are my new friends. What is your name? Your name, Matthew. What is your name? Yeah, it's good to meet you. This is their village. Well, as you can see, anytime I stop, it's quite a sensation. They want me to sit for a minute. Yeah. So right now I am waiting for an English speaker to come and give me a tour of the city. But in the meantime, look what I got. Tea. Cha. <laughs> Yeah, no, I have all the permissions. Bye bye. No, 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 no. So if you haven't gathered already, I've been arrested. The local police showed up and they were uptight for some reason. I have all the permissions to be here. I went through the trouble of getting written permissions. But police are police. I guess this is the police station.
Passwort? Ja. <lacht> Documenting all of this procedure here of hassles. Shukran. So, Alo came to the police station with his friends just to uh, help him. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't know how many times I've said this, but there is never a normal day in this country or on this continent. I never know what's gonna come out of the box. <laughs> well, this time I was ready. I had all my permissions in order. Yesterday I, I talked to one of the directors of the Cultural Commission and found out I could get a document stating that I could tour around and take pictures. Well, when they saw that, combined with the letter I got in Addis Abeba from the National Customs Commission, uh, there really wasn't much they could do. So, so anyway, they're gonna make 10 bucks off me today, plus I'll have to feed them lunch. I hired the tuk-tuk today too. Yeah, it's just the way it goes, you know? Um, it's not bad because they're going to show me places um, that I probably wouldn't have been able to see anyway. So, and if there's any problem, I got a guy with, I got a police officer, uh, you know, with an AK-47. He can, um, you know, stifle the problem, nip it in the bud. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to be here for about two hours and I'm going to skedaddle. It's getting hot. It's 89 degrees already. But uh, this was the adventure of the day.